With Sri Lanka already through to the Tri-Nations final, it was all about India in Dakar today as they chased the last place in Wednesday's decider. They'd struggled with the ball in Bangladesh, so with one eye on next year's World Cup, would they be able to find a solution against the only unbeaten side of the tournament? Sri Lanka were hoping to retain the winning habit whilst India were looking for improvements from their defeat at the hands of Kumar Sangakkara's team in the second game. Highlights from the Sher Bangla Stadium are coming right up. Now in just over a year, the 2011 Cricket World Cup will be opened in this very stadium and today we saw two sides with realistic hopes of being crowned champions of that event. But first, there's a Tri-Nation series to be won. India started today with two chances to join Sri Lanka in the final. A win would put them clear of Bangladesh and into Wednesday's match, but defeat against the informed team would leave them with the prospect of a nerve-jangling match against the host tomorrow. Kumar Sangakkara won the toss and with an eye on the final, he chose to experiment by seeing how his side would get on bowling second in the difficult dewy evening conditions. They made three changes to the side, welcoming back Tilakaratni Dilshan in place of Tiramana. Centurion Mahela Jaya Wardner dropping down the order to number four. Malinga Bandawa was replaced by Saranga Lakhmal and Chanaka Velagedera came in for Nuwan Kulasekara. India also made three changes. Virenda Sewag, Harbhajan Singh and Ashish Nera all out. Dinesh Kartik, Sudip Tiagi and Amit Mishra came in for them. So Sri Lanka got first use of the pitch. Here's highlights of their innings. Sudip Tiagi is with the new ball. Shown a lot of promise in domestic cricket, Sudip Tiagi. And on target first up. So that will give him a lot of confidence in a dot ball as well. Uh, he looked um, quite, quite deadly in the um, game uh, at uh, Ferocia Kotla. But maybe it's not uh, really um, fair to judge him of from there. It'll be interesting to see how he bowls on this pitch because this is a very good pitch to bat on. Already you can see the line around middle leg stump. The North Taranga is very good. Square at the wicket on the offside. So they thought about the lines that they need to bowl to Taranga. Will have to be consistent though. A couple of fielders inside the ring, square of the wicket, just to cut off the singles and boundaries. Let's this one go surprisingly. So it's been a good start for Tiagi. Three dot balls will give him some confidence. The list take career, eight matches. Economy of 4.47 is very good. Oh. And stand taken, so Tiagi picks up the first wicket. And the man in form, Upul Taranga, dismissed very early in the piece. Dinesh Karthik is the catcher. And he normally has gloves on, but he made this look ridiculously easy. That's a very good piece of bowling. He's uh, bowled on the spot. Now this one is just angled away from uh, the left-hander and uh, Karthik making no mistakes. So first blood to Sudip Tiagi, wonderfully done. And uh, Sri Lanka have lost their first wicket without a run on the board. Straight away off the mark in splendid fashion. That's Dilshan. <laughs> Would you believe this man has uh, not played um, the game for the last week or so? Not after that shot. This is a cracking shot. Wasn't a bad delivery. But then that's what uh, batsmen like Dilshan and Seva can do. Even good deliveries are dispatched to the boundary. Oh. 
Just adjusting his length, marginally short of a length, and better length as well. Good comeback this uh, by uh, Sisant. Yes, you're absolutely right. He adjusted the length, made it a little bit shorter. The line was still the same. And uh, Dilshana botting the shot at the last moment. Again, it's four. Making it look so simple. It's a very good batting condition. But still, Dilshan, an amazing touch. It's short. It'll get the treatment it deserves. It's four more. He's putting them in boundaries. Well, he's probably thinking he doesn't want to pitch the ball up because Dilshan likes to play on the rise. So he's dropped it a bit short, but he's dropped it on the leg stump. So it was just a matter of helping it um, for uh, helping along for Tilak Ratne Dilshan. So not really the kind of short ball that will keep the batsman thinking. A little bit of width on the offside, but finding Jadeja at point. India did a couple of things against Dilshan in India. Had the third man inside the ring, had a deep one leg, deep square leg, ball shot deliveries. Had a little bit of success with that uh, plan. Not trying it here today. Back to back hundreds in the first two one internationals. Then 41 9, that was the innings he was tested. Through the gap, it's hand eye coordination at its very best from Dilshan. And what about the bat speed? Incredible bat speed as well. Just wide of the field, and there was a man a short cover. But this was spanked so hard that nobody had a chance. So, boundary for Sangakara. Holds it short. Will be another boundary. Getting the boundary man into place, slicing it, getting the elevation. Conceded a lot of boundaries in their sixth four of the innings. It's four more. Nobody at third man. Moved the man at third man, had him at deep point, deep cover point. So it's good batting. And again, it's four more. Knows exactly where the fielders are, and he's finding the gaps each time. It's four more. He's changed the field, bowled a fuller length, and it's been hit so hard that everybody was stunned. Two fielders in the deep on the leg side, and he's picked it up early and played it a lot quicker towards mid wicket to get a boundary. Well, this was just the second ball that uh, Zahir was bowling a little too early to try the short ball because most bowlers like to feel that they are in rhythm, that there's no danger of uh, bowling a no ball, they're fairly warmed up, fairly loose, and then try the short ball. Dangerous Dilshan and a superb catch. This not the easiest, was traveling very quickly. Well, that's a good ploy that worked. Terrific. There was that widest slip, and then this fifth slip. And Dilshan trying to run the ball down through that. And a good low catch taken by uh, Gautam Gambir. Zahir Khan strikes in his first over. 
And that's a big one. That's a big wicket. Tilak Ratne Dilshan. He's making a walk back to the pavilion. Sri Lanka have lost their second wicket for 42. Dilshan 33. That's clipped away on the onside. That was uh, meat and drink for uh, Kumar Sangakara. That's gone away fine and will reach the boundary. Tiagi a little too square. Plenty of boundaries already in the Sri Lankan innings. They've gone past 50 now. That's a lovely shot. Very good shot. Just a little bit of uh, extra width on that occasion, and he is in prime form at the moment, Sangakara. So he pounced on it. Yes, he waited for four deliveries. He wasn't to be tempted outside the off stump, but the moment the bowler got a little bit closer to him and got a little bit shorter, he straight away pounced on it. Lovely shot. Not only did he hit it well, but he hit it away from the field at cover. Oh. Trevon handsomely through the offside this time. So one off the back foot. And now boundary to end the over with a cover drive. 60 for two. He's got him. It's a soft dismissal. There was a man positioned there precisely for that. Just wonder if it was a change in uh, pace from Zahir Khan. Didn't look like it. It's just that Mahila Jai Vardhana has uh, played early and chipped it straight to short cover. Virat Kohli was the man who took the catch. So another wicket goes down. Yes, another important wicket uh, for India. Jayavodhana just pushing at it. Wasn't uh, close enough, pushed early. And he knows it uh, that he should have maybe delayed the stroke a little bit, maybe played defensive. But to whatever India has struck for the third time in the Sri Lankan innings, Jayavodhana is out for five and the total is 60 for three. Bowling power play being taken. This is Sri Lankans. Uh, they need to uh, get the game together, get their batting together, because they've lost three wickets here. Over pitched. The third man will come into play. Loud appeal, and the finger has gone up. He took a good hard look, took his time there. Inamul Haq was the empire. Now the decision he had to make was, was that ball swinging back into the right-hander? Had it straightened after pitching on middle and leg? Samravira did uh, go across his stumps. Uh, knocks him on the knee roll, very close decision and uh, Inamul Haq Felt it would hit the leg stump because Samravira went across his stumps quite a bit. Hit on the knee roll. Yes, I think you hit the nail on the head, Ranil. He went across and he's given him out on the shot. So Srishan striking and uh, Sri Lanka now 61 for four. Trouble, trouble. Yeah! I think it is trouble. <laughs> Sangakara first called, and then once he realized that the fielder was closing on the ball quickly, he said, No, Kanambe tried to regain his crease. Has he done that? A good piece of fielding uh, from Dinesh yeah. Karthik. Well, let's see whether he's uh, read that well. The bales are off, and uh, I guess he has to go back to the pavilion. Another look. Yep, he's short. 
And uh, Zahi Khan uh, makes no mistake. It's a pretty good uh, throw straight uh, at uh, the stumps. And Zahi Khan, all he had to do was uh, pick it up and uh, dislodge the bales. Really good piece of fielding. Another one gone. Sri Lanka in the spot of Wada here. Out. So he's the third of but correct call. 66 for five. He started, so Kandambi responded, and uh, the field of very quick uh, to close in on the ball. So Tilana Kandambi run out for one, Sri Lanka in trouble, 66 for five. And Sri Lanka's current run rate a little over four and over. And that's because they've lost five wickets pretty quickly. And now it'll be runs maybe even a boundary yes it is very well timed by the Sri Lankan captain breaks the spell Zahir's been bowling brilliantly well, he's got a bit of a, an edge and it's going to go for a boundary but Pereira is going to take up the challenge if uh, Zahir's going to bang the ball in short then Pereira is going to have a go at it Nobody there, it's going to be a boundary. No protection. There's a slip fielder in. Yes, I think it was just a touch short. Which allowed the batsman going to the back foot, even though not in a great position to play that shot. Still uh, managing to get a uh, good bat on uh, that one and uh, finding the boundary. Desperately trying to pick up boundaries, uh, Pereira. And uh, finally finding one in this over. Well, he smashed it. Is he going to be caught? Oh, what a catch by Yuvraj. What a catch. He just did to a nicety. It was up in the air for a long time. Fantastic catch. Super stuff from Yuvrat Singh, but this had to happen. He was just uh, playing too many strokes. And once he played that shot in the air, Yuvrat had to make way onto his right. And a very good catch in the end. Super stuff uh, from Yuvraj. To see the back of Pereira. Brilliant stuff. Absolutely top class. That's the kind of fielding effort Dhoni has been exhorting uh, from his team. He's got it from Yuvraj and that's the sixth wicket for 84 Srishant is giving the charge we'll get four more Sangakara he's doing the right thing by looking to play some shots they need some runs and he's with the lower order at the moment Broke really well. Was in the gap. And he'll get off the mark with that four. Randeep. Oh, Big appeal from Dhoni. A fielder from Slip. Looking for the catch. Wait for the umpire signal. No signal from the umpire. So that negates uh, the LBW appeal. Possibly getting a little bit of a touch onto the bat when he attempted to mm. possibly off the gloves wing scooping high up there and a good attempt so Dinesh Kartik brave attempt but uh, he's lucky there hitting it with the turn Tiagi now this time what you brought seeing and Sandakara picks up two Should be four more. Tiagi might not get there. It is four and fifty for Sangakara. And the Sri Lankan captain leading from the front. What a wonderful innings it has been so far. You could have taken into consideration that a uh, lot of wickets have fallen, but Sangakara has stood tall amongst the ashes 
and he's controlled, he's played a sensible knock so far and when he offers width like that and uh, the length being short, the game this time he almost played the ball, scooped it up, not too sure of the shot, checking it but still getting a couple of runs. Clears middle of Yuvraj Singh. You shouldn't mind that. These are opportunities to pick up wickets. Goes for the big one. It's in the air for a long time, but will land safely. And that should be four, I think. We'll have to see if Tiagi has touched the rope while he was picking up the ball. He's very close to the line. He's lying on the ball now. And surely something starts the rope. He didn't know where the ball was. That's the longest uh, part of the ground. Deep boundary there. Mid wicket. That's somewhere the area where Tisra Pereira got caught by Yuvraj Singh. Yes, uh, for a second he didn't uh, realize where the ball was. He pushed it back. He's touching the line now, and uh, is the ball touching his body? That's the question. I think that earlier angle gives you uh, a clear indication. I think he's okay. See, because he's maybe touching the ball here. Oh, that's very difficult for the uh, third empire to be conclusive on this one. Yeah, he's, he's on the ball here, but you can't, you, you're not sure whether he's touching the rope. Might get away with it. Mm. One of those decisions uh, that takes a while because it's uh, very inconclusive where the ball was. Yes, he's changed his uh, decision or he's uh, signaled it uh, as a boundary. Midon's up, so it's a safe shot. Chest pulled back inside the boundary. It's a useful hand here from uh, Suraj Randeep. Yes, he's uh, hit some uh, lusty shots like that. But uh, by and large, he's um, been content uh, keeping his wicket, supporting the captain. Just pushing it back. A good save. Saved a single. up in the air should be taken mid wicket coming underneath it simple catch in the end so Yuvraj out of nowhere has got the uh, big fish Sangakara he's livid with himself mistimed it completely and Raina making no mistake so that it was short he wanted to pull it uh, in the direction of mid wicket and hit it over the rope he, uh, for it he's uh, absolutely mad with himself but there's nothing he can do just lobbing it up in there Yuvraj um, clenches his fist uh, shows him that he's picked him up so the captain goes for 68 played well Sri Lanka 143 for 7 Tiagi continuing Jadeja looking at that little finger of his. Oh, it just looks to have uh, probably dislocated. It just needs the physio to pop it out of the socket. He's just leaving the field now for some treatment. I wonder if he's cut his uh, little finger. If it's bleeding or something of that sort. Yes, probably a split, maybe a split as well. There's a little dislocation. That's driven through the offside. This will reach the boundary. 
So he's looking to uh, try and take as much strike as possible. He's given the charge and it's a very good strike. He's making a useful contribution. Suraj Randeep gets to 37 with that four. It's going to be Zaheer Khan again. He's bowled well today. Bowled uh, according to the requirement of the conditions. It's the big shot. They're required to play some shot and get some runs because this is a very good batting pitch. They'll need at least 240, 250. Has to manufacture shots. Improvisation was at the order of the day and that's exactly what it did is drag it from outside off and into that gap between mid-wicket and mid-on. He'll get the single and get a half century. His first in one-day international, so he'll remember this for a long time. What he's done is uh, he's ensured that Sri Lanka will get past 200. Very well struck. Taken on the full. He's hit one up in the air, and another very good catch by Yuvraj Singh. Very good catch. He had to cover a lot of distance, keep his eyes on the ball. And he's come up with the catch, so the partnership broken. And Zahir Khan gets another one. Here's Tushara. Poor shot, poor cricket, having got a boundary. It's no necessity to do that. And once again, a very good catch from Yuvraj Singh. He had to cover some ground. Bowler appreciates it. Uh, so the seventh uh, Sri Lankan wicket has fallen to Shara for 28. And the score is 2-0-2. That's a good strike. Very good strike. Oh, yeah! That's for him. He enjoyed that, the little fellow, Mishra. This seemed to be a wrong one that skidded through. And it was too good for Randeep. Looking to pull, beaten by the pace. Yes, maybe there is a little bit of dew falling now that uh, skidded through the wrong one. Good variation, having bowled the leg break, being hit uh, for a four over extra cover. This time deceiving the batsman with the wrong one. Captain says, well done too, but Randeep has played a good innings. 56, his first half century in international cricket. He goes now and Sri Lanka, 209 for nine. Here's Mishra just teasing uh, the number 11. Dhoni whips off the bales, he's confident. In fact, uh, the batsman's walking, so the finger must have gone up. So Sri Lanka all out for 213. Nice flight of delivery, tempting him to go for the slog shot. Trying to hit it in the direction of Midwicker. It was wide outside the crease. There's no need uh, to send that up to the third umpire. So the Sri Lankans are all out. Sri Lanka crept past 200 thanks in main to their captain. How Kumar Sangakara managed to score at nearly a runner ball while his teammates failed at the other end is testament to exactly how good he really is. There was also a maiden international 50 for Suraj Randeev, but precious little else for the Sri Lankans. There was better bowling on offer from the Indians, though Zahir Khan, uh, one looking much better than in earlier games. Sudip Tiagi's one-day international debut was a mixed bag. The early wicket of Taranga, closely followed by some harsh treatment from Tilakaratni Dilshan. The spin of Mishra, that gave the Indian selectors a bit of a headache over whether to retain him or recall Harbhajan Singh tomorrow.
But with 213 on the board, at least Sri Lanka had something to bowl at if they could master those dewy conditions. Just playing away from the body. 127 Ks wasn't a slower delivery. Karthi getting him the shot a little too early. It's flown off the outside edge before to win the over. It's eight for none. Well, maybe just a little tentative start for the Indians, but still they've got eight runs on the board. That would have been safe even if there had been a second slip in position. That's true. He's so strong, square of the wicket on the offside, and Gambhir gets off the mark in superb style. Well, that's a problem with the trying to bowl uh, short all the time. Because unless the ball comes up to towards the shoulders, it's going to be easy runs. Very good delivery. Again, tentative. Better timing this time, straying in line. Karthik thinks he's timed it well enough for a four, and he gets a four. Well, that's a shorter end of the boundary, but still it had to be hit well, and he's done it. That's a good comeback by Dinesh Karthik. He's got very good temperament. He wouldn't have let the earlier two deliveries, which he had played and missed, bother him. It's a very good shot. He's got lovely temperament, uh, Dinesh Karthik. Once again, he's even better using the depth of the crease and punching it in the same area. Yes, this is a terrific shot. The kind of shot that uh, VVS Lakshman would uh, be happy to play. Look at the way he's played it. Beautifully timed, beautifully timed. Another one. He hasn't learnt his lesson, Lakman, even in the last over. All one delivery wide of off and shot went uh, to the boundary, and this one is travelled quicker than that. Yes, again, giving the batsman a lot of room to free his arms, and that was all that uh, Gambhir needed. There is no point bowling a couple of good deliveries and then uh, bowling loose deliveries and giving away a boundary. That's a good bouncer. He does ball a very good bouncer. But Gautam Gambhir was trying to leave it very well. I think he left it very well. It might have flicked his shirt. Saw the ball all the way through. Chaivadhani believes that it was a catch. The umpire reckons no. Nope. That hit. It, 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 it certainly hit something. Well, could have been tight. Can't tell from that replay, certainly hit something. The bowler was confident, so was the keeper. Well, we certainly heard a sound here. Yes, ten overs first slip. Got a hand to it. We will get another boundary. Karthik Samaravira, the fielder, at first slip. Well, it might have brushed his fingertips, but Dinesh Karthik doing the right thing. If he's going to flash, he's got to flash hard. That's what he's done. He's given it everything, and that's why the ball went up there. Just maybe got his fingertips to it. The timing of the jump is so important. Again, string in line. Pay the penalty. Karthik will pick up another boundary. It's 43 for none. It's gone fine. Will be more runs. Desperate dive, not helping the cause. Runs coming very quickly for India. And Gautam Gambhir now getting into the act. Gets to 20, Gambhir. And giving the charge, the ball is straying in line. It's gone fine. The man in the deep, as I mentioned, was too square. And Karthik picks his spot. One bounce over the rope, brings up the 50 for India. 
really the pressure now on uh, the Sri Lankans. They're not defending a big score. What they wanted was some early wickets. Lovely shot, clipped off his legs. A race away to the boundary. So runs coming thick and fast here for the Indians. 60 for no loss. Sweet timing in the slot for Gautam Gambhir. And he puts it away in style. Oh, lovely shot. That's the best of the lot. That really is a good shot because it's uh, optimum timing. It's not all that bad a delivery. But it's uh, like someone uh, batting in the net. So just coming out in the morning before the start of the game when the throwdowns happen. And when you see batsmen just stroking it. On the offside, he's done exactly that. Beautiful balance. Superb placement. It's a packed offside field. There are men everywhere square of the wicket and he's uh, still found the gap. He's such a strong player on the offside. Anything short and any weight uh, offered to Gautam Gambhir will put you to the sword. And that's exactly what he has done on that occasion. Ah! Wrapped on the pads, it's pretty straight. What you've got to see is how far forward Gambhir uh, has stretched that front leg. The way he was struck from what uh, Inamul Hux says there. I think he said uh, maybe going down the leg side and it's a big stride forward. Could be right. Got him. Finally. He breaks through and it's a... Uh, Tushara who picks up the wicket. Just a little bit wide of uh, Dinesh Karthik and all he did was uh, got an outside edge. And a pretty decent catch by uh, the captain himself. Yes, he'll be disappointed. Karthik just played that one outside the off stump. Good 48 there. It's 89 for one. He's put it down. Would you believe it? Dilshan on. has put down a straightforward catch. India 98 for one. He's the best fielder in the Sri Lankan team. You won't believe it. He's put down a sitter. Bye. Good delivery, but still will pick up the single. Brings up the hundred for India. I mean, very quick time. They've got it in the 15th over, and the rate uh, slipped below seven, but still 6.9 runs per over. He is looking for two, Virat Kohli. He's taking the fielder on. That's an excellent running. In fact, getting a, another extra run. Overthrows. That's a gift of a run. Every run counts when you don't make a big total. Here the return coming in may have been obstructed by the batsman running. Suraj Mohammed unable to stop it. And it results in an overthrow. Catches the call. He's put it down. Pereira in the deep. Tushara can't believe it. 107 for one. Lucky for Tushara, twice now in consecutive overs that he's bowled. He's had uh, Gambhir missed. Dilshan missing him earlier on at cover. Last ball of the previous over that he bowled. And here again, the short one hit up in there. No difficulty in holding that. Oh! in has gone through, I think. There was a woody sound. 
But we'll find out the game of Sangakara's pads. Umpire's call not out. Seem to slip in uh, through the gate, through bat and pad. Yes, there was the noise, but uh, it's all obstructed. Did it get the bat and then the pad? No, it uh, hit Sangakara on, oh! the, on the grill, yeah. Yeah, certainly got him on the pad, top of the pad. What sounded like wood? Might have been the grill of the helmet. Yes, sitting him on the grill. Then Sangakar was in pain, he wasn't celebrating. Well, he made room for himself and played it in the gap backward. A point and that's a one run. Takes Gautam Gambhir to a very well compiled 50 runs. Yes, it's a very well compiled under. He's taken his time, he spent quality time out in the middle. The Sri Lankans have bowled well. He's hung in there, he's not been at his uh, most fluent. But the important thing is that he's given himself the opportunity to play himself into form by hanging in there, not doing anything rash, not doing anything silly. So, where you well played uh, half century. 69 balls since the last boundary. It's flicked away, and as we put up that uh, little bit of information, they've got a boundary. Well, it was on the pads, and the Kohli continuing his good form, just working the ball away, helping the ball, the extra pace, angled at the pads. Importantly, Kohli placed it between the two fielders. And the process deviating in line, just allowing the batsman to glance that away. For a couple of easy runs, you know, bite in the bowling. And both the balls he's bowled uh, in this over have been down the leg side, and that one has been punished. Drifting down leg, helping it on its way with four runs. I just get the feeling that he's trying to bowl a little quicker than he did the first over. And therefore he's losing his direction and trying to bowl that little bit quicker. Both the times on the pads, he's conceded six runs, having the bowl the maiden over. First up, this one um, was slanting in and on the pads, no problems for Kohli. Kambi down the wicket, blasts this one through the covers, and rockets away over this. Green outfield at Mayfro Stadium for four rounds. Again, guiding that very fine. Actually, fine enough to take it for four runs. Nice shot to end the 26th over the 150 comes up. Actually, it's 152 for one. Lovely shot there. Even the man in the deep can do nothing about it. The timing was so good. Chipped in the air. Soft dismissal this. So against the run of play, Gautam Gambhir departs. He's just looking to clip it a little squarer. And in the end, uh, just spooning it in the air to mid on. Well, again, they're making no mistake. We've seen this happen time and again, uh, batsman trying to flick it, playing a little early, getting le leading edges. A shake of the head as uh, Gambhir goes and uh, some success for Sri Lanka and for Tisra Pereira who's picked up a wicket. Gambhir has uh, fought his way through to 71 of 86 deliveries. India 161 for two. Oh, good shot. No need to run for that. Nice full face of the blade off it. That's a very good shot. This really is a good shot because he's picked the length up quickly. He was wanting to keep it uh, to ground and he's done uh, both of them. That'll race away. Fine leg was up in the circle. That's a very good effort to pull it back. Three runs uh, comfortably taken by Yuvraj. That's sliced away. Nakmal is there in the deep, he'll cut it off. He's trying to hit it a lot straighter. 
And they call for the third umpire with that direct hit. Interesting to see if uh, Kohli was uh, taking it lightly. Had he grounded his bat or not? Have to wait and see. Well, I think he just managed to get in. He was uh, loafing around there. Sangakara, I don't know intentionally or not, he let the ball go through his gloves. Did say lucky he's not out. He still drilled that through the offside. Reaches a half century as well, so his consistent run continues. Fourth 50 plus score in the last five innings for Virat Kohli. Four more, plus it's a no ball. So India getting there in a hurry. Four more. Another one. Make it 19 in the over now. That would have slipped. That would have slipped. Even Sangakara was not expecting it. Uh, well, again, Ram offering his apologies. And that's it. That's a win for India. Another full toss and uh, played quietly down to the long gone position. Virat Kohli, what a fine innings he's played again here today. 71. 71 not out, Yuvraj is 8 not out. India win in the 33rd over, they win with 8 wickets to spare, they get the bonus point as well. That's a comprehensive victory. Well, it was an experiment to bowl second under lights and one that did not work for Kumar Sangakkara. Gautam Gambia, Dinesh Kartik, they set the base for the run chase. And then the 21-year-old Virat Kohli gained the invaluable experience of guiding his side home. There were signs, though, that this pitch used for the first time was offering some turn for the Sri Lankan spinners. But when these sides meet in Wednesday's final, both captains, they will be desperate to win that toss and bowl first. It is hard work for the bowlers under lights. So eight wickets, the margin of victory for India and the first bonus point win of the series. And with Zahir Khan winning the Man of the Match award, it was all too easy for India. Now with the 2011 World Cup just over a year away, these sides have gained invaluable experience in this series. Even Bangladesh, who sadly won't appear in their own finals, will have learnt a lot. But the cream has risen to the top and with a game to go, we already know that it will be Sri Lanka and India who will play in Wednesday's final. But before that, there's one more group game to be played. Tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., Bangladesh will take on India. Will Mahendra Singh Dhoni rest any players? Will be tempted uh, to experiment with bowling second as Kumar Sangakkara did today. Join us on Sky Sports 1, where you can find out. And confirmation that the final is on Wednesday morning, also on Sky Sports 1. That's live from 8 o'clock in the morning, so until uh, tomorrow morning, it's goodbye for now.